On today's show, we're going to take a look at the G9 battery grip for your Lumix G9 and answer a pressing question. Is the shutter trigger on this any less sensitive than it is on this? Good morning and welcome to Photo Joseph's Photo Moment, the first live three times a week show here on YouTube at youtube.com slash photojoseph, 9.30 a.m. Pacific, talking about photography and video and streaming and all kinds of fun things related. And today we are talking about the new battery grip, the BGG9, very, very technical name, for the G9. The Lumix G9, one of Panasonic's latest and greatest cameras, this is the one that is really stills photographer focused, does excellent video as well, but is really all about the stills photographer. And this is the battery grip for it, so that you can have a bigger grip, extra battery, and even go vertical. If you don't know about the G9, we've done a bunch of videos about them. I'm going to link to a playlist right here about various videos that we've done around the G9. Fabulous, fabulous camera. Um, but right now, if you're here to watch and learn about the G9, BG G9, let's get this thing open. So I've, I've already opened it. You know, it's just like kind of a fake unboxing because I already unboxed it. It's not exactly an exciting unboxing. There's a manual and there's a battery grip and it's in bubble wrap. And that's about all there is to it. There is something that's worth noting, though, about the cover on here, which is kind of good. Uh, let's see. Let me go in for my close-up on here. This little battery grip, um, as with the G battery grip that comes with the GH5, has a little cover that it comes with. Just peel this thing off, get rid of that, take this out. You just kind of squeeze, squeeze. It's kind of hard to do that on camera. Squeeze. There we go. And oh, there we go. And you can discard that. You no longer need this for shooting. However, if you plan on taking this thing off of your camera, don't throw this away. It protects these little pins. You really don't want those to get messed up because that would be bad. As you can see, they do rise up. And um, if you get those damaged, then it would probably cease to work properly. The other thing you'll notice on the inside here is there is a little hole, a little gap, and that is for the cover. If we look at the bottom of the G9 itself, there's a little cover here that you have to peel off to attach the battery grip. And you might just guess what those contacts match up with. They're going to match up with those there. And this little cover that we just peeled off can be stored right here. Just it goes right in that little pocket there. And there you go. And I would highly recommend that you do that because that way you know where it is at all times. There's not a storage place for this. That would be an odd thing, but you can at least store the cover there. But try not to lose that thing. To attach it, pretty simple, straightforward. I'm going to just put this thing on here and screw it in. Now, one of the first things that you may notice is that while this battery grip is in place, you cannot get access to the battery that is inside the standard default battery. So to change that battery, you actually have to take this off. This unit, just like the one for the GH5, stores a single battery, not two batteries. So your, your two batteries that you have are one in the handle here, your default one, and then one in here. You can choose, and we'll take a look at the menu setting, but you can choose whether you your camera is going to use the one in the grip or the one in the body first. Um, and I think for most people, using the one in the grip is going to make sense because once that one depletes and it switches over to the other one, at any point you can pop out the one in the grip, replace it, and then keep on shooting, and it will switch back to the one in the grip. Also, just like with the GH5, if the battery power dies on the one in the grip, it appears, and I haven't done a, an actual like let it die test, but if I just pull out the battery on here, the camera does power cycle as it switches over. Um, I don't know, it's funny because I don't actually recall, we did a test with the GH5, I actually don't recall what the result was, um, whether it actually power cycles down as it goes, as it does the switch over um, automatically. I kind of think, I, I want to say it actually did it seamlessly when it died, but I don't remember. I'll look later and I'll stick it in the in the description and the first comment below. But at the time of doing this live, I don't actually remember what it was. Anyway, all right, let's get let's get onto this thing. Um, incidentally, if you are watching live and you have a question or a comment, do type the comment on your screen. It'll pop up on my screen over here like this. If you put at photo Joseph in front of it, then I will see it and we will come back to those questions in the second part of the show, the QA part of the show. If you have a question and you're not watching it live, then just stick it in the comments and we will uh, do our best to address that at some point. Okay, so the battery grip is on there. I think I already put a battery in here. It's just There's your sneaky revelation that I actually already had this open. It's already had a battery in it. It does not come with a battery. Don't get that excited. Um, it's got the battery in here. There is, this is kind of cool. Let's go for another close-up shot here. You'll notice here on the bottom door that there is a little pop-out hole here. That is so that you can use a AC slash DC adapter, pop that into the grip, and then the cable will thread through there. So you could put this thing on a tripod, have a AC adapter on it, and have it powered indefinitely. So that is an option with this as well. You can do that with, you don't need the battery grip to do that. You can do that just in the internal as well. But it's just good to know that's what that little weird circular door there is for. 
All right, let's get a close-up look at the controls on this camera. Basically, it looks like the top of your G9. It's remarkably like the top of your G9. You've got your shutter. You've got a control dial that, by default, is probably going to do your aperture. That's probably where you have it set to. you got your white balance. This is fun to point these things upside down. White balance, ISO, and your aperture compens or exposure compensation button. This power switch does not turn the camera on and off. It turns the battery grip on and off. So if you, if you have this off, the camera is, yeah, the camera's on right now. It doesn't do anything as soon as I turn this on, but the camera is on. Remember, I turn this on and now, well, it is taking a picture, but it's doing electronic shutter. Anyway, that is now functional. You also have the thumb dial back here. So really, it is replicating the top of the camera. So there's the top of the camera. The power switch is in a different place, but that's about it. You've got your on off. You've got your dial. You've got your three main buttons, and then you have your command dial there. So very, very similar. Also on the back of this, you have your AF slash AE lock button and your multi-directional joystick dealio. Just like, let me zoom out on this little close-up camera now, just like you have on the back of the camera here, you've got your multi-directional joystick dealio, that is a technical name by the way, and then in here you've got your AF slash AE lock button. So very much replicating a lot of the controls, a lot of the buttons you have in there, so that of course you can shoot vertically. So now, the question of the day is, is it any less sensitive? So let me see, just a little test here, let's just, let's just a little test. See, this is really sensitive, this top button. I, and, and the reason this comes up is a lot of people are finding that they go to focus and they accidentally take a picture. They're like, hold on a second, I didn't mean to. It just takes getting used to. Honestly, I've had the camera long enough now, it takes getting used to. But when I switch from the G5, GH5 or any other Lumix camera back to this one, I do find that I have to re-get used to, does that make sense? re comment, readjust, whatever, to that more sensitive button. So the vertical one is... I would say it's less sensitive. I would actually. Yeah, it is less sensitive. I don't think it's as non-sensitive. What's the right word there? I don't think it's as, there's as much resistance as on the GH5 or other cameras, but it is less sensitive than the top button. Okay, well, there you go. For those who wanted to know that, now you do. That is my personal insight and opinion. You may find it different, and keep in mind that this may fluctuate from copy to copy. Things like button resistance is something that can vary um, a little bit as you go, but that's, that's about it. Um, is there anything else I have to tell you? There really isn't. It's got a little strap hole on it, tripod socket on the bottom. That's pretty much it. There's not a whole lot to it. It's a battery grip. You stick a battery in there, you stick a battery in here, you go twice as long. Oh, I know, I did want to show you uh, how to set which battery it uses. So let me do another close-up here. You can see there on the LCD display, it shows two batteries listed. Let's see if I can find this to point to. There we go. Two batteries listed. The bottom one says BG, that's battery grip. And you see that tiny little arrow on there? That's showing me which battery it is actually currently using. Okay, so now let me show you how you can change that. Okay, I've got my cable plugged in so you can actually see what's going on through the through the viewfinder here. If we look at the look at the LCD display, look in the top right there, you'll see that it has the battery symbol and it says BG, so we know they're using the battery grip battery. If I go into the menu system and I go to the wrench menu and I go to, there we go, on page three of five, it says battery use priority. So that's BG, battery grip, or I can switch that over to body. If I switch that to body and I go back, you'll notice now the top right, there's the battery symbol. It no longer says BG. And if we look at a close-up of the camera, and wait for that thing to focus. Sometimes I feel like focusing just gets slower just to annoy me. Now, if we look at the symbol on the top of the camera, you'll see the two, two battery icons, and now the arrow is pointing at the top one, telling me that it's using the one in the battery. So that's how you choose which one it's going to use, and that, it's pretty much all there is to it. So um, with that, we're going to step into the Q&A portion of the show. So don't go anywhere, stick around um, and find out what people want to know.